back when we were talking about you were talking about like owning your own venue but like a co-op style is that still something you yeah. have like in mind yeah and i think moving to windsor you know, might be a little bit more attainable but i think kitchener waterloo really needs something like that they desperately need something that works for people in your community who can learn like like let's put it this way they're the only I don't want to say it's a bad thing because some cities don't have shows at all, but there was a point where there was an oversaturation of gigs because people were so enthusiastic about having music, and that's great, but having four shows on a Friday, that's kind of hard to do. It's also kind of like, you know, people don't work together sometimes, and that's tripping over toes and tripping uh, tripping people's plans up, right? And you're playing over top of each other in that yeah, sense, too. Yeah, and, you know, you want to support everyone, but you can't break the pie four ways and then expect everyone to be happy with their share, to be honest. Then that's that's the, when you start thinking in those terms, and then what are you really, why are you doing this in the first place, right? Is it for the money or is it for the show, like, for the fun? And for that's where it gets confusing. It. And then I think there needs to be a sole venue where it's just for the love of it. Like, they can have touring bands come in, you come in, show that, but when you're not having the touring bands come in, it should be open to people in the community to throw gigs and events, and then you could teach them how to run their own sound, how to start their own promotion. You could teach people about stage managing. There's so many things you could do as like a co-op building for a venue that could be community run and community pay for, I think. It's just it, needing to take a chance on the space, really, and taking a chance on the fact that you know people will care about it. And I think, like you said, at a, a city like Kitchener-Waterloo, it's the perfect place for it. Like, there's a ton of colleges and universities around. So many a... different so many different types of shows and music going on all the time. And, like, like there's so many people that want to learn this shit, too. Like, I know when I, was in, like, when I was in university, it was, like, almost every other fucking person I knew had, like, a beat pad and was, like, making yeah. beats and shit like that. Yeah. So, like, and that's the thing, too. Like, there should be workshops for people, like, for the, on the musician side, too. Should be workshops on how to like sample your own beats and how to do like maybe things outside the box that as a musician you wouldn't even think about doing. Like just... I know playing in playing in a punk band, when am I thinking about sampling music? Probably never, but I always thought it would be cool to learn how to do that. Right? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, why limit or, yourself? Or maybe maybe I do want to learn how to use a drum machine because I'm making a, a fully solo album. You know what I mean? Like in like, I don't know how to make one, but maybe, like, I could, like, go in and someone will be like, oh, here's a tutorial on this, you know? Or, here, or, or like, here's, somebody or who, here's somebody who'll show you how to do it. He'll teach you in, like, yeah. a day or something. Here, Absolutely. boom, 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 boom. He's right there. Go to the co-op. Yeah. He's there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, it, it would it would benefit so much to have that in that city. And everything we're talking about here, it would, like, it would be, a, like, a space for everyone to come together and play and not just the punks, not just, like... The DJs, yeah. it was everyone. And that's that's something I think, because music school is fine and all. There's a little bit of uh, smoke blowing up some musician's ass when they go to school. Yes, where it's just agreed. like, that's, that's, not, that's not the breaks, that's, re that's not reality. And I've had musicians and bands who come from music school who've like been a little out of touch, and I've had people who like really get it. And I think we've all just agreed that if we had a space to apply the knowledge that we have, then things just get exponentially better. You can learn all you want in school all day, but are you really taking it to the real life with you? You have to practice it and like apply yeah. it for to actually like, make something and mean something to you. Otherwise, and there's not it's just always, theory. And there's not always programs in school that are like specifically what you want to learn. It just might be like something that's broadly covered, right? So yep, that's pretty much where I'm sitting with my English degree. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. You would know a lot because where are you going to go after an English degree? There's, there's so many different opportunities, but you have to narrow it down. Or you have to like actually <laughs> put the op use the opportunities they gave you, but you're too stubborn because you're X, Y, and Z. But yeah, that that was exactly. me though. Yeah. But um, but like yeah, you're right. Like some something like that would just be beneficial for somebody. Like anybody who wants to learn music and wants to play music, it'd be like the perfect thing. Like you come out of it and like, hey, this is the real world. This is how we do it here. Do it, I, teach, teach us how to do it, basically. Yeah. I just noticed there's a. I'm not sure if it's a KW thing, but there is a real lack of young musicians these days. Like, like sorry, let me rephrase. There's a real lack of kids who are playing instruments these days yep and i think that's totally 100 percent to do with the lack of having the space to do it so they know they can make music on their computers at home which is like awesome because like music is still alive and well and i don't 
I used to be so anti electronic music for oh, so long. Oh, same here, man. Same how here. Ignorant, and I realized how ignorant that was. That it's just like I'm literally like you know I'm not acknowledging the existence of a music that millions of people love. Billions. And it's and it's not that bad, really.